Graduates of Newman University and its predecessor institutions may also be nominated for awards by fellow alumni, faculty, and staff. A subcommittee of the National Alumni Board researches and recommends these candidates to the Alumni Board of Directors for approval. And then the awards are presented at this banquet. Our second award is named for the college's first president and is given to honor alumni who have achieved a high degree of success and integrity in their professional lives. I know I saw at least one past recipient of this award I want to recognize, Father Tom Welk, right? Tom. <laughs> Who did I miss? This year's recipient graduated with a Bachelor of Science in both Sociology and Psychology in 1972. You're about to understand this alum's remarkable and self-made path. She is truly a remarkable woman who has achieved a great deal in her life. But as you'll learn from our video, our 2018 Leon A. McNeil Award winner is no stranger to the remarkable. Shari Metconico's life has been immersed in diversity. She was one of seven children raised in a low-income neighborhood in North Wichita, near McAdams Park. Her upbringing would equip Shari with a strong foundation that shaped her future. My father was African-American. My mother was Russian. She was a Russian gypsy. Her people came over here when Hitler uh, got on the Jews and the gypsies. And we were always raised in an environment where it was blacks, whites, Mexicans, and, and uh, anybody. Just like diversity came naturally for Shari, Catholic schooling was just a part of her life. My parents uh, had seven kids and they put us through uh, Catholic schools. Uh, I went to an all-girls high school and my brothers, most of them went to Bishop Carroll. And when, we, when I graduated from high school, it was just understood that I would attend Newman. And I attended Newman, liked it, had uh, connections out there from knowing a couple of uh, uh, nuns who supported the school, and I knew several of the minority students. Shari paid her own way for college. She actually began working at a family friend's dry cleaning store when she was just 13 and stayed there all through high school and college. I knew the lady in the finance office because I was, I was only making like $65 a week and every week I would go up there and give her $20 or $30 and get, get my tuition paid. Soon after graduation, Shari began working for the city of Wichita. And then, about a year later, she took a position with the state of Kansas as a civil rights investigator. And it was in sync with my background because my, my neighborhood and my family are so racially mixed. And uh, I, I always felt comfortable about, around everybody because we always had every color around us. And so it just felt natural. And it was, I had been in the job as an investigator for more than a year when I remember investigating some devastating case and going back in my office and saying, to myself, I will be doing this the rest of my life. And that's how I made civil rights issues my employment issues. Started being one of the highest producers of investigations in the, in the agency and I was promoted to branch office supervisor of Wichita. And Wichita at the time had uh, responsibility for the western two-thirds of Kansas. And I remained in that position for several years, and then I was promoted to assistant director, and I moved to Topeka, Kansas to take on that job. The last career stop came after her time in the state capitol, when the Boeing Company recruited her to run its affirmative action program. I was impressed with the way people were willing to learn what they needed to know about affirmative action, and that it wasn't all give minorities jobs if they didn't deserve it. And I also met 
other nationalities who had conflicts with sexual issues and uh, that was uh, supported too by the company. So I just got to know all kinds of people and I enjoyed that challenge. Throughout her career, Shari made an impact in many ways, but believes it boils down to building awareness of your fellow man to create a more positive work environment. Along the way, she was able to use lessons she learned while at Newman. The psychology part, that there were a lot of reasons why people did things. It wasn't always broke into black and white issues. It was how, how they were raised, what they learned in life. And so I learned to accept people for the way they were and to challenge people to get to know other people. Getting to know others was a motivation in her work with the Black Achievers Program, a collaborative effort between Boeing and the YMCA that helped young African Americans connect with positive mentors in the community. Shari retired in 2000. Now she spends most of her time connecting with nieces and nephews, attending to her cat, and watching Dr. Phil. When asked about her alumni award, she admitted she never expected it. It, it's caused me anxiety and excitement because I, did, I had gone so many years and never heard from anybody and to get recognized by my college, I was just stunned. Every now and then uh, someone will walk up to me in a store and say, you know, you saved my life. You, you did that investigation and they gave me the promotion that I, I deserved. So I got those every now and then, but I never had anything of this magnitude uh, since I had retired. Sorry. Please come forward to receive the Leon A. McNeil Distinguished Alumni Award. Congratulations. This really is fascinating because I get to see people that I haven't seen in so many years and it makes me humble. Humble that I was blessed to have the kind of background that I received and humble and blessed that I was able to do things in my community to help us all. My parents taught me never recognize a person by their race. She recognized them as a person of God and while at Newman, I got a whole lot of support from Sister Tarsicia and Sister Charlotte, although they weren't tall women. <laughs> uh, uh, I, it was successful. I don't remember a racial problem. I don't remember anybody having any problems at all at Newman, but we learned to know each other and carry on those relationships after we left the university and that's what makes me proud. I'm proud that I was able to go there and feel comfortable throughout my career. I never felt a racial problem. I never felt a problem about anything, even though I was six foot tall. <laughs> so I really appreciate this award and I want to thank you very much. <laughs>